On the Shabbat morning of February 6th, members of Alpha Epsilon Pi and the rest of the Jewish community in San Luis Obispo woke up to find a devastating display. We, we awoke to, um, you know, multiple swastikas and Jewish slurs written on our doorstep um, and on the public property uh, in front of our uh, in front of our house. Current president of Alpha Epsilon Pi and industrial technology junior Noah Matloff knew that this was calculated and targeted at the Jewish community. We can't take this lightly. This is not um, something that we can let fly under the radar. Uh, this is not just some one-off comment. This is a, a direct crime ag against our organization and the larger Jewish community in San Luis Obispo. Cal Poly and AEPI alumni Tal Edelstein had a strong reaction to his alma mater situation. I was very upset. I texted my friends, texted my family, what's going on? Um, and it was, it was definitely tough to see that. The incident gained local, national, and international media coverage as people from all over the world recognized the slow community's efforts to shed light on the situation. This happened, but how do we fix this and how can we improve this? And I mean, just looking at the AEPI fundraiser that's been going on, I mean, that is... That's the epitome of, I think, Jewish success. A GoFundMe page was started by AEPI philanthropy chair and sociology sophomore Darren Deutsch. We immediately created a fundraising page for one Yad Vashem, and two, the JCC here in SLO. So we were super quick to act, and I think that we turned something ugly into something beautiful. San Luis Obispo Hillel's academic advisor and anthropology junior Isabel Ditzler sees a clear need for more education. Anybody who thinks anti-Semitism isn't a serious issue, it clearly is. It happened in our community. Swastikas should not be taken lightly. If you're not educated about the Holocaust, get educated. The San Luis Obispo Jewish community will continue to stand strong and united in the face of adversity. Reporting for Mustang News, I'm Mickey Dubry.